please like my videos please subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon so that you get to know when my latest video has come and to learn more and to find a video relevant to you please do check out my videos list hello namaskar and adab to all my friends from your friend astrologer and guide irfan once more with you from your very own channel astro assurance now one of the very important questions that comes to our minds every now and then is am i with the right person here i'm talking about relationships and did i marry the right person or am i going to marry the right person or this person who i like and i'm thinking to approach is this person the right person for me or if i'm dating and seriously starting to think whether i should end up in a marriage alliance with this person in a marriage contract with this person will this person be a good person for me if not the ideal person for me so how do you find this out now normally one of the traditional ways was that you get the horoscopes matched and you go to your family's jyotish astrologer and you get the horoscopes matched today you may not some people may want to do that some people may not want to do that and lot of people because they are getting into relationships through a love affair so the astrological matching sometimes is not so important or doesn't remain important so if you are already in love with somebody my suggestion is also that please go ahead and marry the person so either you drown together or you do well together however if you are not too sure yet if you have not formed up your plans yet and you want to be really sure one way to be sure is to spend considerable amount of time with a person in various ways various situations to know eventually whether you want to get married with somebody or not however sometimes even a lifetime is not enough to really know somebody better and so you end up getting married to somebody first and then later on finding out whether your adventure has been a good adventure or not so is there a way through which you can be better or you can be adept at finding out whether the person that you are thinking of wanting to be with is a good match for you is a compatible match for you and can be a perfect match for you and is there something called as a perfect match or a best match or a very very good match if nothing else is it a happy match or push come to shove at least a stable match so there are various ways you can do it and astrological science comes to our rescue more often than not what does the zodiac tell us for example from a vedic astrological point of view even from a western astrological point of view this sign which is the seventh sign to your ascendant sign to your zodiac sign becomes a most compatible sign for you the most complementing sign for you and hence that seems to be the best suited for you and hence that seventh sign or the seventh house is also called as the house of your marital life also conjugal bliss and that also is the one which is also the house of which complements the ascendant best however how do you arrive at which zodiac you are first so that you get to know which is your seventh sign so firstly should you look at your sun signs alone and based on your sun sign you decide this is who i am because of my sun sign so my complementing sign is this so for example if you are born between february 20 and march 20 you become a pisces ascendant native or pisces native according to sun signs and so i am a sun sign person uh, i am a pisces sign person basis my sun signs and the most compatible to me is the is the sign which is opposite to me and the sign which is opposite to me because i am a pisces is the virgo sign because for pisces uh, zodiac sign the opposite sign or the seventh sign for a pisces per person is the virgo sign so do you want to go with that or is there a better way to know whether what zodiac is yours basis overall what kind of a person you are here i have found that and i've done a video on this is whether you are a more of a sun sign person who are you more are you more of your sun sign person or are you a vedic astrological lagna person or vedic astrological ascendant person so i have made this video where how do you know which characteristics do you carry more just because you are born in a certain vedic astrological sign basis what was the sign rising on the eastern horizon at the time of your birth do all people which who fall in that zodiac sign be the same so according to your birth timing which the vedic astrological horoscopes don't use if you are a capricorn person 
then are you truly a capricorn person just because your ascendant is that or are you more of a sun sign person because your ascendant is that so firstly it is important for us to know what kind of a person i am so please go to the video and watch what zodiac sign you more are, you are more of and use that to find out what is the complementing sign or which is your opposite sign so firstly let me tell you this i have never found somebody who's completely according to their zodiac sign whether it's sun sign or astrological zodiac sign i found that generally people are three people in one there will always be one zodiac sign which is the most powerful or which will manifest itself most then there will be a second sign which most of the time 70 to 80 percent of the time will also manifest in some way or the other and there will be a third zodiac sign which will also to a large extent come to the rescue or help and aid the other two zodiac signs every now and then so somebody can be somebody who can be very very disciplined in certain areas but at the same time they can also be very very fun loving so a very disciplined fun loving person can be somebody who is bringing in both the capricorn energies and the sagittarius energies at the same time but one energy will be the most powerful one which is manifesting its strongest so that will definitely be there so firstly for you you need to know which is your zodiac sign what are you manifesting most first which is your number one zodiac sign which is your most natural sign which is the second sign which you are most of the time after being the most important sign which is your most powerful sign and which is the third sign or the fall back sign where 50 to 60% of the time you also do that you also bring in that element so somebody who is a capricorn ascendant native but also has a cancer elements can be strict mother also but can be also very caring mother for example or even a caring employee or even a caring boss so somebody who can be most of the time a strict taskmaster but in your times of need may also be become very supportive may also give you the flexibility may also be caring may also call up and ask you how you are and how things are and whether they can be of any help to you so and nobody is the same type people are always three types so find out who you are strongly as a zodiac person before you find out what you are most compatible for so that is very very important and you can do that through the video but also try and see what areas what areas of life what principles values appeal to you most and through that come to a final conclusion that i seem to be this most of the time or you can ask your friends and family members of what they think their strengths and weaknesses or challenges are then use that to be able to arrive at something that you say i am this so look at your sun sign and your vedic astrological sign and then take feedback from others do some self soul searching and then arrive at what your zodiac sign is and that is very very important to know what complements you if you don't know who you are how do you know what complements you okay so that's the test number 1 for yourself to know what you are zodiac sign is second once you know more or less who you are what is the most complementing sign for you so for example if you are aries according to vedic astrological signs the seventh sign for you is the libra sign which is the most complementing for you if you are a taurus person scorpio is the complementing sign for you if you are gemini then sagittarius is the most complementing sign for you or the seventh sign for you or the opposite sign for you or the balancing sign for you so once you find out that and you know what your compatible sign is it need not be necessary that you will always be marrying that person or you will find that person only you may find people from different zodiac signs also however you don't want to make a mistake you want to be more sure and so usually you may meet 3 4 5 people different people in your life and sometimes you need to make a choice and when you need to make a choice you need to you don't have everything all information and every experience on your hand sometimes you also need to take a leap of faith but when you take a leap of faith it is always good that you take a leap of faith with somebody who you know more or less represents a certain zodiac sign because then you know what strengths and the weaknesses of that zodiac sign are and so you can you can be sure that okay i am okay with this kind of a person because i know what i may face in the future and basis that i am okay being with this person so to know the strengths and weaknesses of a person of a zodiac sign is also important but how do you know the person who you are thinking of marrying is that particular zodiac sign so you need to really know what what the person's zodiac sign is and then see whether the person is compatible to you basis this video that i am doing to find out who is your most compatible person according to 
three or four things that are put together to arrive at the most compatible sign for your sign so firstly how do you know what sign the person is you can do two or three small tests so don't put somebody through a quiz test to know what sign they are when you start liking somebody or you feel you have got somebody in your life where who you want to more or less fructify uh, the relationship or solidify the relationship before taking it further if you are not too much into it or if you even if you are a little bit into it and you are thinking of whether you want to be with this uh, this person or not one way to do is to check with his family people and his friends now you can't go around and ask them which should i marry this person or not his best friend and his family people will always tell good things about the person him or her the the way to do it is to use information or get information very casually so if you are at a party and your would be spouses or your boyfriend or your girlfriend's friends are also around family members are also around or you have gone to the party where he is you have been there or you know their friends or you have common friends then when you casually ask people in a very casual manner in a fun manner that what are the three good strengths of this person and they know that you know you are you are you are together so they will always tell good things about uh, the person whether the, the if the person is a family member or friend say ah oh, okay okay the akash is very good person he is very caring he is this he is that they will put two or three maybe four five things good things about him and then say okay but if you have to change two things in him mind this question is very important don't ask what is his weakness say if you have to change two things in him or her what would you change and then see the reaction now you have not asked the weakness okay you have asked what thing you would change so usually people would like to change something in people which they don't like or they find a weakness so they open up they will say okay if i have to change one thing in akash i would want him to change the way he treats you know the people of the lowest of the low category uh, rung because he seems to not like them he seems to not give them importance he is very rude to the security guard or to the maid and he seems to be very less caring uh, and the other thing i would like to change in him is sometimes he doesn't seem to be accessible you know in many times you have to call him 10 times before he is uh, accessible to you and many times in my worst situations also i find him coming last my other friends even my neighbor comes first he comes after 3 or 4 days to ask how things are so now when in a very casual manner the person has told you what the person's weaknesses are then you arrive at do you really want to be with such a person basis what weaknesses are coming and different people will give you two two three things that they want to change so father may something his friends may say something his uh, you know aunt may say something his sister may something but more or less then you get the trend what the person's weak areas are and if you have been with the person of enough of time you may also be able to know what the person's uh, weaknesses or strengths are this is that you can find out a person better the other test which is a very good test to know whether the person is somebody who can be good or not is to know the person in a pressure situation and many times when you are in a, in a dating environment or you are starting to go out with the person you really don't get to know them in a tough situation you generally get to know them in a fun situation because you and the the person is together so you are more or less in a fun environment without putting them into a pressure situation you don't know now you can't put them to again a test like a military you know parade that you want to do nobody likes to be subjected to their race and you can't put them through that turmoil anyway so the other thing is to test them in money dealings and in travel environment so check or find out how they are in money dealings either when you know when if their friend says this person is very bad you have to you know he even when he has money he borrows money and he forgets he never returns the money or whenever i ask him money i i wish he, he was uh, more forthcoming and give me money when i needed money or return money without being asked 10 times i have to ask him 10 times before he uh, lends the money or returns the money so that's what second you may directly ask the person that uh, if a person asks you for money you know if a friend asks you for money what would you do would you lend it to him or do you think money should not come between friends then see what his or her reaction is if he says no 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 i don't like money to come between friends uh, so friendship money spoils uh, friendships i don't give money to anybody i keep things money off the friendship then you will get to know what the person thinks wouldn't it be better that 
you can lend the money to the friend and then forget about the money so that the money doesn't come between you and the other person unless it's a very very substantial money then you need to think whether you want to give the money but if it's not a great amount for you and the person is asking for money why not lend it to a friend and forget about it whenever the person has the money he or she will return it if not forget it don't allow the money to come between your friendship so how the person is in money dealings when you ask the person or when you check you will get to know other is to take the person on a travel take the person on a tough travel which means tell the person i have a surprise for you we have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning we have to take a bag and we have to go to a place a surprise place and you know you we will you go according to how i want to take you and then put him on a train local train put him on a bus make him walk some distance so that you get to know under pressure situation and a tough situation under those situations where you are testing the patient person's patience how he comes out if he has to wait for 30 minutes 40 minutes 50 minutes for a bus how does he behave if you tell him or her that you are going to get the food and the water and then you conveniently forget and you say oh, i am so sorry i forgot water or or, or food and he is thirsty and she is thirsty and then you check how do they react do they lose patience or they say okay fine don't worry about it we have come here for fun we can buy it at any store how do they react in those situations you will get to know that if you make a mistake in a tough situations in those uh, situations which test the patience of the person how does he react so these are small things through which you can really know what the person is about and then you can arrive at what zodiac sign the person fits more into not just because of his sun sign not just because of his birth time basis is vedic astrological ascendant so when you do that you get to know what he is more of the vedic astrological chart will tell you what is his birth time and what ascendant he is but as i said the person may not completely with that zodiac sign the person may be something more and the other two signs may be very very different from what is mean what is vedic astrological sign is so it's always better to know the person better and then arrive at what is his first sign most important natural sign for him whether the sun sign vedic astrological ascendant sign or some other sign and what overall he is as a person and then see whether you are person is compatible with you or not now how i'm arriving at which is the most compatible sign is not only using which is the most compatible sign basis the zodiac coming from a vedic astrological point of view or what are the signs from a sun signs point of view i am combining three techniques to give you and this is a time tested tested technique which i have used and i've seen over the last four decades because every sign which seems to be compatible with the other may not be compatible with the other so what i have seen is the sign which is opposite to the sign which your zodiac sign represents is one of the areas which is important for to be looked into the other perspective is to look into is the sign similar sign to your complementing zodiac sign which means if you are a fire sign which means that if you are an aries ascendant native and the opposite sign to you is libra which is an air sign which means the fire and air sign seem to be more compatible with each other and so the other air signs may also be compatible to you that is the first test the second way to look at or combine the technique is to look at the bhavat bhavam principle which means that for every sign the ninth sign and the fifth and the fifth sign which are the trine house signs are also good for you one because they are the same sign as that of your ascendant the second is the ninth sign or the ninth house sign is also the ninth house of the sign of games or the biggest sign of games for the zodiac or for your ascendant and in the ninth house sign can be a game bringing sign for you and then the fifth sign or the fifth house sign also being one of the other trine houses is also very important for you because the fifth and the ninth house houses the trine houses are the biggest houses of games for you so the ninth sign may also be very compatible with you and the fifth sign may also be compatible with you which means whichever is the sign which is opposite to your zodiac sign one of the other other two of the zodiac signs may also be compatible with you and the ninth and the fifth house signs may also be compatible with you though they are of the same elements and so you look at one you look at the complementing sign the opposite sign the second thing that you look at whether the person is from an element where you look at the fire element or the air element or the earth element or the water element which elements Uh, also are most suitable to your zodiac signs and you look at the bhavat bhavam principle 
you also look at the complementary sign principle and the last technique that you add to it is the kendra principle which comes from the vedic astrological science method which says that when you look at yogas usually the planets which are in kendra to each other especially especially benefic planets they form yogas so a planet which is in kendra to another planet or a house which is in kendra to other house is a beneficial house so hence any house which is in kendra to the ascendant which is the fourth seventh and the tenth houses are said to be auspicious houses these are good houses so any sign which is the fourth or the seventh sign or the tenth house sign are also good signs for you they are not bad signs for you however the fourth sign and the eighth sign and the twelfth sign are the similar type and and because the sixth eighth and the twelfth houses are the dusthana houses so eighth sign and the twelfth sign being of a similar type then the fourth sign may also not be as as auspicious for you and hence you need to be very careful that you whether you really want to be with somebody who has who is carrying the fourth house sign energy and so when you combine what is the complementary sign to your zodiac sign which is the ninth sign and the or the fifth sign to you and which is in the kendra to you or which matches your element when you combine all of them then you know which zodiac sign is most compatible with you so let's use this principle of combining the opposite sign complementary sign the ninth house the fifth house sign the kendra house sign elements and when you combine all of them through that arrive at which is the most complementing sign for you or most which is the most compatible sign for you basis your zodiac sign so let's jump into the first sign of the zodiac which is the aries sign we know that the aries sign is a fire sign and the opposite sign to it is the libra sign which is an air sign which means that for a fire sign the air signs are compatible and specifically the libra sign is most compatible now which are the other two air signs the other two air signs are aquarius and gemini but according to the bhavad bhavan principle we know that the aquarius sign is the 11th sign to aries sign and 11th sign is a house of wishes and desires so the 11th sign represents where your wishes and desires can be fulfilled however when you look at from the aquarius sign to aries sign aries sign is third sign from aquarius which means for the aquarius sign person your sign is third house which means you are hard work for them effort for them and so while they may bring you gains you may not be able to bring them as much gains in fact they may have to put in more hard work so that they enjoy a more stable relationship with you so you may want to marry somebody who fulfills your wishes and desires but how about the other person if the other person doesn't feel if or if the other person feels you are too much of a hard work their wishes and desires come through come through um, through to them only after a lot of hard work will they truly be happy with you and so it is better that you get together with somebody who is your 11th sign which is aquarius sign for aries only if in only in very selective situations not as a general rule and the other is the third sign from your aries sign is the gemini sign which means the gemini sign is hard work for you now would you want to be with somebody that the person becomes very lot of hard work for you and you have to put in a lot hard lot of hard work to sustain the relationship to be happy in the relationship to keep the relationship stable and hence for aries ascendant native libra may be a sign being the complementing sign which may be compatible but not so much gemini surely but to an extent aquarius sign may full may be, may be put into the bracket of being a compatible sign now the second technique which is the bhavad bhavam principle which is the ninth sign or the fifth sign which are also good signs or auspicious signs for you this is what zodiac sign you have arrived at being which is the aries sign here the ninth sign to aries sign is the sagittarius sign and because the ninth sign or the ninth house sign is the ninth house being the house of biggest gains so the other compatible sign for aries person is sagittarius though they are both of the same fire element and the next choice for you is the fifth house sign which is leo again the fifth house is also the house of gains but at the same time the ninth house is the house of prarabdh karma so your karma also is washed off or helped to by being with the person who represents the ninth sign and the fifth house which is the house of sanchita karma that is taken away when you when you are with somebody 
who represent the fifth sign. So, for an Aries ascendant native, being with somebody who is a Sagittarius sign person may also be a good thing and slightly lesser choice being with the person who is a fifth sign person may also be not, not be a bad choice. So, that is according to the Bhavad Bhavan principle of the ninth sign and the fifth sign also being to a large extent compatible with me. And the, and the next one which, which is the Kendra house principle. For an Aries ascendant native, the fourth sign the 7th sign and the 11th house signs are Kendra signs which means Cancer, Libra and Capricorn are the signs which are 4th, 7th and 10th to you. However, as the 4th house has the same type of sign which the 8th house has and the 12th house has which is the Cancer sign. So, it is better to avoid the 4th house and try and be more with the 10th house person because 10th house sign person which is Capricorn because that is your karma. When you are with such a person York and you are keeping the person happy, you keep the marriage stable, then your karma also gets washed off or your karma is also helped and because you are doing your karma, being in relationship with such a person, you are doing a grace tasharam better, you also get attract gains from the zodiac. Now when you put all these things together, what comes out as a final, in the final analysis as the most compatible signs for you to be in a relationship with. So these are the five signs which comes out as the most compatible signs for you. Libra, Sagittarius, Leo, Capricorn and then to a certain extent Aquarius sign are good for you. If nothing else, then marry a person of your same sign if a relationship with none of the other five seems to be possible. And that is the, these are the five most compatible signs for an Aries ascendant native. Libra, Sagittarius, Leo, Capricorn or Aquarius or Aries itself. Now for a Taurus ascendant native, the Taurus sign is an earth sign and the sign which is opposite to a Taurus sign person is the Scorpio sign and Scorpio is a water sign which means that for earth sign people the water signs may also be compatible. Now the most compatible sign is obviously is Scorpio because it is the opposite sign, it is the seventh house sign also. However, the other two signs Cancer or Pisces may also be compatible with you. However, which is the 11th sign for a Taurus ascendant native? For a Taurus ascendant native, the 11th sign is the Pisces sign and because the 11th house is also the houses of wishes and desires and fulfillment of your desires and also a house of gain. So, for a Taurus ascendant native, being with somebody who is a Pisces native or a Pisces zodiac may not be a bad idea. However, when you look at the Cancer sign, the Cancer sign is the third sign for you. And the third house from any house is a hard work for you and putting in more hard work to keep the relationship. So, would you want to be with a person who forces you to put in hard work just to keep the relationship stable? And so, for a Taurus person, Cancer person may put in, may require you to work more. And uh, where uh, Pisces sign is concerned, though Pisces is 11th sign for you, but from Pisces, the Taurus sign is the third sign. And so, while you may attract gains by being with a Pisces sign person, for a Pisces sign person, you, your sign being the third house or third sign for him or her, you are hard work for them. And so, while you may find Pisces not so bad in compatibility, but a Pisces sign person may find it tough to be with you in long term. And hence, the Pisces sign to some extent will be compatible with you but definitely not the Cancer sign. Now using the Bhavad Bhavam principle where the ninth house sign and the 5th house signs are game bringing signs for you. So Capricorn sign and the Virgo sign are also good for a Taurus person. The reason being is Capricorn is the ninth sign for the Taurus ascendant person and because the Capricorn sign is the ninth sign and so the Capricorn sign person may invite or attract gains for you when you are in a relationship with them and keep them happy. On the other hand, Virgo sign person is the fifth sign for a Taurus ascendant native. So, to a lesser extent than Capricorn, a Virgo sign person may also bring in gains for you. Though they are of the same element, yet because of being the ninth house signs and the fifth house signs, these are also good for you. Then using the Kendra sign principles, for a Taurus person, we have already talked that the seventh house which is the Kendra house and the Scorpio sign is definitely good for you. On the other hand, the 4th house sign and the 10th house signs are also Kendra houses for you. But we have already said that the 4th house sign may not be the best for you because it also has the same energies as the 8th house sign 
and the 12th house sign so the 10th house sign may be the next compatible for you and hence for a Taurus ascendant native Aquarius representing the 10th sign or the 10th house sign may be more compatible for you rather than other signs which relate get related to the Kendras apart from your 7th house sign of course which is Scorpio so now when you combine the sign compatibility of the opposites opposite house then you combine the Bhavad Bhavan principle the 9th house sign and the 5th house sign and you also look at the Kendra house principle what are the five signs or what are the signs that are most compatible for a Taurus ascendant native these are Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Aquarius and Pisces now Pisces being their 11th sign may not be so compatible for you but the other five are definitely more compatible to you which are Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius and Virgo and to a lesser extent Pisces if nothing else if you want to if, if you have no other option to marry a person of your own sign which is Taurus so that you either do well together or you drown together and that is the compatibility the best compatibility signs for a Taurus ascendant native now if you are a Gemini ascendant native then what is the sign which is the seventh sign to Gemini sign the seventh sign to the Gemini sign is the Sagittarius sign which is a fire sign which means that the other two fire signs may also not be so bad for you or may be more compatible for you and hence the other two signs which are Aries and Leo may also be compatible for you however now Aries sign is the 11th sign from Gemini and hence for a Gemini ascendant native 11th house being the house also of gains and also the house of fulfillment of wishes and desires so it may not be a bad idea for a Gemini person to get married to an Aries person however for Aries sign if you count Gemini sign Aries, Taurus and Gemini the Gemini sign is the third sign which means for, an, for a Gemini ascendant native Aries sign person may not be a bad idea but for Aries ascendant native being together with a Gemini person means putting in that needs to put in that much more hard work just to be happy or keep the relationship stable so who would want to be with some person where just to keep the, sta the marriage stable or the relationship stable they have to put in a lot of hard work they have to put in a lot of effort and so while it is not a bad idea for a Gemini ascendant native to be with a Aries person but it may not be a good idea for the Aries person to be with Gemini and so Gemini and Aries are not the most compatible sign now for a Gemini ascendant native Cancer is the third sign and so for you if you are a Gemini ascendant native Cancer is a lot of hard work for you the Cancer sign people so it is better also to avoid the Cancer sign person now from the Bhavad Bhavan principle where the ninth house sign and the fifth house sign are also good for you because the ninth house itself is a house of gains and the fifth house is also a strong house of gains what is the ninth house and the fifth house sign for a Gemini person? The ninth house is sign is Aquarius, and so when you are with somebody who may be from Aquarius sign, because of the Aquarius being the ruler of the ninth house, being with the person and being in a good happy relationship with the person will also attract gains for you, because the ninth house is the house of gains and the biggest house of gains. On the other hand the other sign which is Libra sign may also attract gains for you but to a lesser extent than the Aquarius sign so being with an Aquarius sign may also be a good may be a good thing for a Gemini ascendant later now when you look at the Kendras which are the signs which are in Kendra to the Gemini sign the three signs which are in Kendra are the 4th house sign 7th house sign and the 10th house sign now the 4th house sign 7th house sign and the 10th house signs are Sagittarius, Virgo and Pisces now the Virgo sign energies also are the same energies which are also of the 8th house sign and the 12th house sign which are of the earth element and because the 8th house and the 12th house also have the same signs the Dustanas also have the same earth signs so it is not so good for a Gemini sign person to be with a Virgo sign person rather than that it is better that you are with somebody who is the 10th sign person for you which is the next Kendra house after the 7th house sign so the 7th house sign for a Gemini sign be Sagittarius using the Kendra house principle the Sagittarius person may be good for you the 10th house sign Pisces sign person may also not be a bad choice for you so now when you combine the 7th house complementary sign then you look at the 9th house sign and the 5th house sign using the Bhavad Bhavan principle and then you look at the Kendra house and you look at the use the Kendra house principle 
and combine all of that the five signs which come out to be the most compatible signs for a gemini sign native are sagittarius aquarius libra pisces and aries so aries being the 11th sign one has to be careful before you finally choose the aries sign person so while these signs are compatible if you are not able to get with any of such people or any of these signs last and fourth last and not the least you may be better off with the gemini sign with rather than being with the other signs because as i said before it is better to drown or swim together rather than being with some other sign where only one sign uh, drowns and the other sign is survives so for gemini signs these are the five signs and which are the most compatible signs now for cancer sign people when you look at which is the sign which is the seventh sign to the cancer sign then that is a capricorn sign and capricorn has the earth elements which means that if you are with somebody who has earth sign elements then you can be in a compare with a person who has compatible sign which are the other two signs which have the earth sign elements it is the taurus sign and the virgo sign now for a cancer sign person the taurus sign is the 11th sign to taurus sign and hence the taurus sign person may bring gains for you because the 11th house is also the house of gains and wishes and desires so while your wishes and desires can be fulfilled from a taurus person and cancer sign the ruler moon also gets exalted in taurus so it may not be a bad idea to be with a taurus sign person however for a taurus sign person cancer is the third sign which means taurus sign person will find cancer sign person to be a lot of hard work to put in a lot of effort who wants to put in a lot of effort just to be in a stable relationship with somebody or to be happy with somebody it should be easier rather than tougher so it is not a great thing for a cancer sign person to be in a taurus sign because it works just one way it doesn't work the other and similarly for a cancer sign person virgo sign though being of the earth element is the third sign so for a cancer sign person the virgo sign person may end up becoming a lot of hard work so it is better that you avoid virgo more and taurus to a lesser extent so the best thing for a cancer sign person is to be more with a capricorn sign person first and then to a lesser extent to with the taurus sign person and try and avoid the person who is a virgo sign person because virgo is too much hard work now when you look at the bhavat bhavan principle which is the ninth house signs and the fifth house signs also being good signs for you because the ninth house and the fifth house being the most auspicious houses and the house of gains what is the ninth house for a cancer house cancer sign person the ninth house is the sign of pisces so which is the ninth house sign for cancer the ninth house sign for cancer is the pisces sign so the cancer sign being so the pisces sign being the ninth house sign it is still better off for a cancer sign person to be with a person who is of pisces sign though they are of the same element the water elements and sometimes emotions can be overflowing however the gains can be very very high lot of good luck can be coming in now when you have more gains coming in and you have good luck and good fate coming in then the emotive issues may not arise so much that you have to tackle the emotion emotion emotive issues so much the other sign which is the fifth house sign for the cancer sign person is the scorpio sign again which is the same sign which is the water sign however because it represents the fifth house energy still it is much better off rather than being with the sign which has either the third house sign energies or the eighth and the 12th house sign energies when you look at the kendra house principles of the fourth sign the seventh sign and the tenth sign also being not so bad signs or in fact compatible signs the fourth sign for the cancer person is the libra sign and because the libra sign also has the similar energies which are of the the dusthanas which is of the eighth house and the twelfth house and so it is better that you are lesser better off with the fourth sign people which is libra but you are better off with the other kendra which is the 10th sign the 10th house sign for a cancer ascendant native is that of aries and so a person who is cancer sign is better off being with the 10th house sign person which is aries rather than being with the libra person and of course the 7th house is the most compatible for a cancer sign person which is the capricorn sign so according to the bhavat bhavam principle being with the capricorn person is better and then to a lesser extent aries sign so when you combine these three and arrive at what are the signs which are most compatible for cancer person 
looking at what is the element sign which is the which is the most compatible sign according to the element energy then looking at the bhavat bhavam principle and the kendra house principle the five signs which are most compatible for a cancer sign person are capricorn pisces scorpio aries on and taurus but taurus to a lesser extent rather than the other four signs and if nothing else marry a cancer sign rather than being with somebody who has Uh, who has a sign which is least compatible with cancer and so these five signs are most compatible for a cancer sign person capricorn pisces scorpio aries and then taurus now for a leo ascendant native or the leo zodiac person which is the sign which are most compatible for a leo for a leo person now the sign which is opposite to a leo sign person is the aquarius sign in your zodiac and aquarius has the air energies so the air energies can be of a good compatibility for a leo ascendant native and which are the other two signs which have the air energies it is the gemini sign and the libra sign now when you look at the gemini sign the gemini sign is the 11th sign from the leo ascendant or for the leo zodiac and so having the 11th house energies and also being a house of gains and houses of wishes and desires so a leo person can get a lot of the his or her wishes and desires fulfilled from a gemini person or gemini sign person however for a gemini sign person the leo sign is the third sign from gemini and so the leo person is a lot of hard work for a gemini sign person why would somebody want to be with somebody who is a lot of hard work and effort just to be in a stable relationship with so while for a leo person it is not a bad thing to be with a gemini sign person but for a gemini sign person it is it isn't a great thing to be with a leo person and so a leo ascendant person should try and avoid gemini sign person as much as possible because what is the what is the uh, purpose of being with somebody who finds the to be with you is a lot of hard work on the other hand the libra sign is the third sign for a leo person and hence for a leo person if you are from a leo zodiac the libra sign person can be a lot of hard work you have to put in a lot of hard work just to be in a stable relationship with the person and just to keep the relationship happy so it is better to avoid the libra sign to a large extent and to a lesser extent the gemini sign and when you look at the bhavat bhavam principle what which is the which are the houses which are have the ninth house energies and the fifth house energies being the fifth house rulers and the ninth house rulers the ninth house for a leo ascendant native is ruled by the aries sign and the fifth house for a leo ascendant native is ruled by the sagittarius sign and hence the ninth house ruling sign aries sign can be a good and compatible sign for a for a leo person whereas on the other hand the sagittarius sign which is the fifth house sign for the leo person may also be a compatible one for you however the ninth house being the most auspicious house its sign can also be a sign which which can bring in a lot of gains for you sometimes it may or you may also go through some ups and downs together in life because being of the same fire sign however the ninth house being a strong house for you a house of gains being with the person who is of aries ascendant native and keeping the person happy will attract more auspiciousness will attract better fate and luck for you and then using the kendra house principle which are the kendra houses for a leo person which are the fourth house rulers the seventh house rulers and the tenth house rulers the fourth house for a leo ascendant native has the scorpio sign and the fourth house which is the scorpio sign also has the same energies which of the eighth house and the twelfth house which are the cancer and the pisces sign so it is better to avoid a certain sign which also has the dusthana signs of the 8th and the 12th sign and hence for a leo ascendant native it is better to avoid being with somebody who is a scorpio sign which is the 10th house sign the other kendra for a leo person the other kendra which is the 10th house sign is the taurus sign for a leo ascendant native and hence it is better to be with a person who has a taurus sign which is ruling which is the ruler of the 10th house rather to be with somebody who has the scorpio sign so the five compatible signs for a leo ascendant native are aquarius aries sagittarius taurus and gemini however gemini may be a not so great choice because while gemini is the 11th sign for you from gemini leo is the third sign for you so these four signs are better off 
Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, and Taurus may be better for you, and then to a lesser extent, Gemini. If nothing else, you have no other option, then it is better to be with somebody who is of the Leo sign itself rather than to be with somebody else. So, for a Leo ascendant native, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, and Gemini, and to a lesser extent, Leo itself. Now, what is the most compatible signs for a Virgo ascendant native? The sign opposite to Virgo sign in the zodiac is the Pisces and the Pisces is the water sign energies. So being the most compatible, Pisces will surely stand out for a Virgo person. But Pisces having the water sign energies, the other two sign energies, other two signs which are water signs are of course the Cancer and the Scorpio. Now the Cancer sign is the 11th sign for a Virgo ascendant native. And so for a Virgo person, Cancer sign having the 11th house energies, the cancer person may attract gains for the Virgo person and may also be a fulfillment of, of wishes and desires. However, for a cancer person, Virgo is third sign, which means Virgo person is hard work for a cancer person. Why would a cancer person want to be with somebody who is a lot of hard work to be happy or to have a stable relationship? So it doesn't make so much sense for a Virgo person to be with somebody. For them, that person is hard work. Though for a Virgo person, Cancer is not a bad sign to be with. On the other hand, for a Virgo person, to be with a Scorpio person will surely be a problem. Because the Scorpio sign is the third sign from the Virgo person, or the Virgo, Virgo sign. So Scorpio is definitely a sign which is hard work for you. Why would you want to be with somebody where just to keep happy and be stable, you have to put in a lot of hard work. So it is better for a Virgo person to avoid a Scorpio sign native. Now using the Bhagavad Bhagavan principle, what are the 9th house and the 5th house for a Virgo ascendant? The 9th house has the Taurus sign energies and the 5th house has the Capricorn sign energies. And because the 9th house brings a lot of auspiciousness, so for a Virgo ascendant native to be with a Taurus person makes better sense because being with a Taurus person, the ninth house sign ruler brings a lot of fate and luck. And similarly to be with the person which is the fifth house sign energies, which is the Capricorn energies, also attracts a lot of good gains. Because both of them, the Taurus has the ninth and the fifth house relationship with Virgo and Capricorn has the fifth and ninth house relationship with the Virgo person. So being with the Taurus person who has the ninth house energy surely makes better sense for a Virgo person. And this was according to the Bhavad Bhavan principle. Now, according to the Kendra house principle, what are the Kendras to the Virgo person? So, for a Virgo person, the 7th house, 4th house and the 10th house are the Kendra houses. The 4th house for a Virgo person has the Sagittarius energies. But Sagittarius also has similar energies of fire energies which the 8th house and the 12th house also has for a Virgo ascendant native. And hence, it is better to avoid being with somebody who has the 4th house energies similar to the 8th house and the 12th house Dustana energies. And hence, for a Virgo person, it is better to avoid being with a Sagittarius person. However, what is the 10th house energies for the Virgo ascendant native? The 10th house energies are of the similar kind, which is also Mercury sign, which is similar to the Lagna sign of being ruled by Mercury. And hence, the 10th house sign being Gemini, it is better off that a Virgo person is with a Gemini person rather than being with a Sagittarius person which has the 4th, 8th and the 12th house similar energy. And obviously, the 7th house is definitely the most compatible for a Virgo person which is the Pisces sign. So when you combine the most compatible sign energies, then you combine the Bhavad Bhavan principle and you combine the 8th Kendra house principle, what are the signs which are most compatible for a Virgo sign person? Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini and Cancer though Cancer sign is to a lesser extent being the ruler of the 11th house because from Cancer the Virgo sign is the 3 houses away. So the 5 signs which are most compatible for a Virgo sign native are Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini and Cancer. If you are not able to find any of these 5 signs then better off being with a sign which is similar to yours to be with a Virgo person rather than be with somebody where you may drown together and these are the signs which are keep, which are most compatible for a Virgo sign native. Now for a Libra ascendant native, the opposite sign of the zodiac to Libra is the Aries sign. So the Aries sign definitely is the most compatible sign for Libra person according to Vedic astrology. However, the 
the av sign also has the fire energies which means the other two fire energies are also to an extent compatible with the libra and hence sagittarius and also leo are compatible for a libra ascendant person however leo being the sign which is the 11th sign for the libra ascendant native and hence the 11th house may bring you gains and also fulfill your wishes and desires however for a leo person the libra sign is the third sign for the person and hence libra person is hard work for a leo person and hence the libra person may gain from the leo person but the leo person may not gain enough from the libra person so it is better for the libra person to try and see if you can avoid the libra sign however on the other hand sagittarius sign is the third sign for the libra sign person and hence for a libra sign person hard work is what the sagittarius sign represents would you want to be with somebody who you to be happy with or to be in a stable relationship you have to put in a hard lot of hard work and hence so it's better off that the libra person is with an aries person and maybe to a lesser extent with the leo person rather than be with somebody who is the sagittarius person now according to the bhavat bhavan principle the ninth house is also very very auspicious house and a house of bringing a lot of fate and luck to you and that is represented by the gemini sign and which is the fifth house sign element energies this fifth house sign energies of the aquarius so for a libra ascendant native after being with somebody who is the opposite sign which is the aries sign the next sign which is most compatible for them and fate and luck bringing sign for them is the gemini sign and then to a lesser extent it is the aquarius sign more because the gemini house energies gemini has the ninth house energies and the aquarius has the fifth house energies now using the kendra house principle which are the kendra houses for a libra ascendant native for a libra ascendant native of course the fourth house the seventh house and the tenth house are the kendra houses now we have already talked about the seventh house being a kendra house and being the most compatible sign aries the other two signs which are the kendra houses for a libra ascendant native are the tenth house which is the cancer and the fourth house which are capricorn now capricorn energies are the similar energies or same element energies at the eighth house and the twelfth house which are dusthanas and hence for a libra sign person it is better off that they not with the capricorn person because then the eighth house and the twelfth house energies also influence the fourth house however the cancer sign is the tenth house sign for a libra person and hence to be the to be with a cancer person is better because the tenth house sign is also the house of karma so when you are with a person who is cancer sign and you keep the person happy then you are also able to help out with your karma you are also able to do your karma and hence when you are doing your karma you also attract the auspiciousness from the zodiac and hence it is better off that you be with somebody for a libra ascendant native with aries first and then cancer and try and avoid the person who has capricorn energies now when you are combining all the three when you combine the opposite sign energies then you combine the similar element energies then you combine the bhavat bhavan principle and the kendra house principles which are the signs which are most compatible for a libra sign person these are the aries gemini aquarius cancer and leo do libra to the least extent so so aries gemini aquarius and then cancer and then leo however it is better off that leo may be a last option for you uh, because it is the 11th three uh, relationship with a libra person and uh, if none of these signs are the ones that you are able to find then better off be with your own sign libra rather than be with a sign where you may drown together rather than stay afloat and these are the most compatible signs for a libra ascendant native now for a scorpio ascendant native the opposite sign to its zodiac sign is the taurus sign and taurus being a earth sign which means that after the taurus sign being the most compatible sign the other two air signs can also be to an extent compatible with the scorpio sign person the other two sign which are the earth signs after the taurus sign which is the most compatible sign for scorpio person are the virgo sign and the capricorn sign now the virgo sign which is also having the earth sign elements is the 11th house for a scorpio ascendant native which means the 11th house being the houses of fulfillment of wishes and desires so the virgo sign native can fulfill the wishes and desires and attract gains for the scorpio person however for the virgo person scorpio sign is the third sign 
which means for the very good person scout no sign person is a lot of hard work who wants to be with somebody who where they have to put in the lot of hard work so it is better off that a scorpio sign person try and avoid the virgo sign person because it is a one sided relationship on the other hand capricorn sign is the third sign for a scorpio sign person which means for you for a scorpio ascendant native capricorn person is a lot of hard work now do you really want to be with somebody with the other person has is a lot of hard work for you you have to put in a lot of effort just to keep the marriage afloat and to be stable so it is better off for a scorpio person if possible to be with somebody who is taurus first and maybe to a slightly lesser extent but to be with the virgo person now according to the bhavat bhavan principle which houses have the which are the signs which rule the ninth house and the fifth house for a scorpio ascendant native the ninth house is ruled by the cancer sign whereas the fifth house is ruled by the pisces sign and the ninth house being the house of the biggest gains that the zodiac can bring you and hence to a lesser extent after the taurus sign the cancer sign can also be a lot of auspicious bringing sign for the scorpio ascendant native and then to a lesser extent the pisces sign and so it is better off that after the taurus sign you can also have a relationship either with the cancer sign first and maybe to after that with the pisces sign person also and these are also compatible signs for a scorpio sign person according to the kendra house principle which are the most compatible signs for the scorpio ascendant native the kendra houses for a scorpio ascendant native the, is the 7th house which is taurus which we have already said is the most compatible sign after that is the 10th house which is the leo sign energy and then is the fourth house which are the aquarius energies now aquarius has the similar energies which are of the 8th house and the 12th house sign also the similar element energies and hence for a scorpio ascendant native it is better to avoid a relationship with an aquarius person as much as possible and try and be more with a taurus ascendant native which is the kendra house energies and after that with the 10th house energies which is the leo sign so it makes better sense for a scorpio ascendant native to be with a leo sign person because the 10th house is what the leo house sign energies are and the 10th house represent the house of your karma which means that if you are with a person who is also having the karma energies then keeping the person happy keeping the house stable will also be able to help you with your karma and hence you will be able to attract the more auspicious energies from the zodiac itself and hence the newer energies are better off to be with for a scorpio ascendant native after taurus and so the leo sign is also compatible sign for scorpio but not so much is the aquarius sign and now when you combine the opposite or the compatible signs the bhavat bhavan principle and the kendra house energies what come out to be the most auspicious signs or the most compatible signs for the scorpio person these are taurus cancer pisces leo and virgo though virgo is to a least extent and so these are the most compatible signs for a scorpio ascendant native if you don't find that you can be with any of these five signs which is taurus cancer pisces leo or virgo then it's better that you be with somebody who is of your similar sign which is scorpio rather than being with any other sign where both of you jump and these are the signs which are most compatible for a scorpio sign native now what are the most compatible signs for a sagittarius ascendant native now the opposite sign to sagittarius ascendant native is the gemini sign and so gemini is the most complementing and the most compatible sign but what are the other signs which also have the gemini sign energies which are the air energies these are the libra sign and the aquarius sign now for a sagittarius ascendant native the libra sign is the 11th sign for sagitt from sagittarius which means the libra sign represent the 11th house energies of gains wishes and desires fulfillment so to be with the libra sign energy person or the libra sign person makes sense for a sagittarius however to be with a person which has the third house energies with the aquarius sign energies represent may not be a great idea because for a sagittarius person aquarius sign is a lot of hard work being the third house ruler and so you would you want to be with somebody where you have to put in the hard work to keep the marriage stable or to keep a stable relationship so it is better for a sagittarius ascendant native to try and be more with a libra sign person rather than being with an aquarius sign person but it is better off that you avoid aquarius sign definitely now according to the bhavat bhavam principle 
which is the ninth house sign ruler signs and which is the fifth house sign ruler energies the ninth house has the leo energies we know that the ninth house is the most auspicious house in the horoscope and so any house sign which is has the ninth house sign surely becomes an auspicious sign for the ascendant so here for a sagittarius ascendant native leo sign can be a very auspicious results bringing sign for you so if you are with somebody who has leo energies then definitely it will also attract a lot of gains and a lot of faith also doors of faith will also open for you however on the other hand any sign energy people which represent the fifth house are also very very good for you so to a larger extent to be with somebody who has the leo sign energies makes a lot of sense for a sagittarius person and to a lesser extent to be with the avi sign person now according to the kendra house principle which is the fourth house sign ruler seventh house sign ruler and the tenth house sign ruler which are the most compatible signs for a sagittarius ascendant native now for a sagittarius ascendant native we know that virgo sign rules the tenth house and we know that the pisces sign rules the fourth house however we also know that the pisces sign has water energies and the 8th house and the 12th house also has the same water en energies so would you want to be with a certain sign which has the dusthana energy the water energies and hence it is better off that the sagittarius person avoids a person who has the pisces sign energies because the fire and water signs also are not compatible and so it is better off that you be with somebody who has the 10th house sign energies which is the virgo sign energies rather than being with somebody with the pisces sign energies so to a lesser extent for a sagittarius ascendant native even the virgo sign energies are compatible so the virgo sign person is compatible so when you combine all the principles where you are looking at the opposite compatible signs you are looking at the bhavat bhavam principle you are also looking at the elements and you are also looking at the kendra house principles what are the signs which are most compatible for a sagittarius ascendant native? gemini leo aries virgo and libra in that order If you can't be with Gemini, Leo, Aries, Virgo, or Libra, then it is better of you be with somebody of your own sign rather than be with somebody who is of a sign where you will not be compatible with each other at all. So Gemini, Leo, Aries, and then Virgo, and then Libra are the most compatible signs for you. After that, if no other option, then be with somebody who is of Sagittarius ascendant itself. now for a capricorn ascendant native which is the sign which is opposite to capricorn the opposite sign is that of cancer which is the ruler of the 7th house now cancer has the water energy so after the most compatible sign being cancer what are the other signs which have the water energies these are the 11th house ruler and the 3rd house ruler and so for a capricorn ascendant native the 11th house sign ruler sign is scorpio and the 3rd house sign ruler is the pisces sign and so Scorpio being the sign which rules the 11th house so for a capricorn ascendant native scorpio being having the 11th house sign energies 11th house is also the house of gains and a fulfillment of wishes and desires so it makes better sense to be with somebody who is of the scorpio sign however on the flip side for a scorpio ascendant native capricorn sign is the third sign to scorpio which means for a scorpio ascendant native Cap to be with somebody who's Capricorn sign means a lot of hard work that you need to put in. Why would somebody want to be with somebody who to, just to be with the person you need to put in a lot of hard work? So surely for a Scorpio ascendant native to be with a Capricorn person doesn't make so much sense. And hence a Capricorn person should think twice whether they want to be with a Scorpio person where it's a one-sided gains, other side doesn't get too much. Which is the third house sign energies for a Capricorn ascendant native? the third house sign energies are the pisces sign energies which are similar to the seventh house sign energies but the third house sign energies means for the capricorn person you need to put in a hard work lot of hard work to be with the pisces sign person why did the pisces sign person will make a lot of gains from capricorn sign person so it is better that the capricorn sign person also avoid the pisces sign person now the according to the bhavat bhavan principle which has the 9th house energies and the 5th house energies for a capricorn sign person the 9th house ruler is the sign virgo and the 5th house sign ruler is the taurus sign energies and because the 9th house is the house of the biggest gain so being with the virgo person will also attract a lot of auspiciousness and a lot of gains for a capricorn sign person and similarly even being with somebody who is the 5th house sign ruler which is taurus 
may also attract gains for you. So being either with a Virgo person or a Taurus person also makes sense for a Capricorn sign person. And according to the Kendra house principle, which are the Kendras? It is the 4th house, the 7th house and the 10th house. Now what are the 4th house rulers, 7th house rulers and the 10th house rulers? So after Cancer being the 7th house which have the Kendra energies, the 4th house has the Aries energies for a Capricorn ascendant native. And the 10th house has the Libra energies. Now, the, the fourth house having Aries energies, it are the similar energies which the Dusthanas have, which are the eighth house and the twelfth house rulers, which are the fire energies. And so it is better to avoid a similar sign energy which is of the Dusthanas. And so it makes less sense for a Capricorn person to be with somebody who is an Aries sign person. On the other hand, the tenth house ruler Libra is also the tenth house being the house of Karma, a better sign to be with. Because here, when you keep the person happy, when you keep the Grestana stable, then you also attract good karma because you are doing good karma, you also attract auspiciousness from the supreme energy itself. And so, so as an option, after a cancer sign person, it makes sense for a Capricorn person to be with a Libra sign person, if not being able to be with the cancer person, because the Libra sign also has that Kendra house energies of the 10th house of the karma energies. Now, when you put all of these put together, opposite sign, compatible sign energies, then the Bhavad Bhavan principle of the 9th house, the 5th house energies and the Kendra house principle energies, what are the signs which come out to be the most compatible for a Capricorn sign person? These are Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio and Libra. Out of these, Scorpio is something which is more on one side, so you need to think twice. If you can't be with any of these five signs, Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, Libra or Scorpio, then it's better off that you be with your own sign person rather than any of the other signs where both of you drown together. And these are the compat most compatible signs for a Capricorn Ascendant Native. Now for an Aquarius Ascendant Native, the opposite sign energies, the most compatible sign energies are obviously the Leo energies because the Leo is the seventh house sign for an Aquarius Ascendant Native. Now Leo has the fire sign energies for an Aquarius Ascendant Native as the most compatible sign which means the other fire sign energies can also be compatible for an Aquarius Ascendant Native. What are the other fire signs? Besides, besides the Leo sign energies for an Aquarius ascendant native, these are the Sagittarius signs and the Aries signs. Now, Sagittarius sign for an Aquarius sign native is the has the eleventh house energies, and being the eleventh house energies, eleventh house is the house of gains and also house of fulfillment of wishes and desires. So, hence, for an Aquarius sign person to be with the person of Sagittarius sign makes sense because this, to be with the Sagittarius sign person means Fulfillment of wishes and desires can also come by. But for a Sagittarius person, Aquarius is the third sign from Sagittarius. So for a Sagittarius person to be with an Aquarius person means a lot of hard work to be put in. Why would somebody want to be with another person where you have to put in so much hard work? And so it makes less sense for a Sagittarius ascendant native to be with an Aquarius sign person. On the other hand, for an Aquarius sign person, Aries is the third house sign. And so for an Aquarius person to be with an Aries person it means you need to put in a lot of hard work and you have to just to keep the marriage happy and stable you have to work a lot of you have to put in a lot of effort to keep the marriage afloat and so it is better that an Aquarius ascendant native avoids to be with an Aries sign person. On the other hand what is the Bhavad Bhavam principle which gives other compatible signs? The Bhavad Bhavam principle says that for any ascendant the ninth house and the fifth houses are very very auspicious. These are gain bringing houses. Now, what are the ninth house and the fifth house signs for an Aquarius ascendant native? The ninth house has a Libra sign energies, whereas the fifth house has the Gemini sign energies. So, being with the Libra sign energy also makes sense for an Aquarius sign person because being with the Libra person means that the ninth house doors of fate and luck open for you. And hence, if you can keep good relationship with the Libra sign person, then the doors of fate and luck opening means better gains for you, more prosperity also for you. On the other hand, being with the person which is of Gemini native also, and Gemini zodiac sign also makes sense because Gemini has the fifth house energies and the fifth house is also the house of gains. So, to a lesser extent Gemini, but to a larger extent, it makes sense for an Aquarius ascendant native to be with the Libra sign native. And Libra sign is also a very compatible sign for an Aquarius sign person. 
after that when you look at the kendra houses principles which means the being with the person of which has the ruler of the which is the ruler of the fourth sign or the seventh sign of the tenth sign which means that if you are with any of these sign then also it, it is auspicious for you because the kendra houses are auspicious for you so after the leo sign which is obviously the seventh house sign which is an auspicious sign which are the other two signs which are the ruling the fourth house and the tenth house for an aquarius sign native now taurus is the fourth house for an aquarius sign native but taurus also has the same earth sign energies which the eighth house and the 12th house the dusthanas have and hence it is better to avoid a similar sign energies which are also of the 8th house and the 12th house dusthanas so it makes less sense for an aquarius sign person to be with a taurus sign though materialistically it may attract gains on the other hand the 10th house has the scorpio energies so to be with a scorpio person is a better thing for an aquarius ascendant native because the 10th house is the house of karma so when you are when you are with a scorpio person and you keep the house stable you keep the person happy then you also attract better karma you also attract the auspiciousness from the zodiac itself so after being with somebody who is of the leo sign energies it also is good for an aquarius ascendant native to be with the scorpio sign which is more compatible with you so when you look at all these principles the opposite sign energy principle the bhavat bhavam the kendra house principles bringing in the elements which are the signs which the aquarius person can be most compatible with these are these are leo libra gemini scorpio and sagittarius out of this sagittarius can be a little tricky because it is the 11th house energies where it is a one sided thing so you need to think twice however however leo libra gemini and scorpio are definitely very very compatible but if you cannot be with any of these signs it is better of you with your own sign which is aquarius rather than being with any other sign where both of you will face a lot of challenges problem and the marriage may not be a good one for you and these are the compatible signs for an aquarius sign native now what are the signs which are most compatible for a pisces sign native the sign which is opposite to the pisces ascendant is the sixth sign which is the virgo sign and hence virgo sign is the most compatible for a pisces sign person but virgo also has the earth energies and hence the earth energies can also be compatible signs for a pisces sign person what are the other two house energies which have the earth energies these are the these are the capricorn sign energies and the taurus sign energies now for a pisces sign person the taurus sign represent the third house and the capricorn sign energies represent the 11th house now we know that the 11th house is the house of gains and the fulfillment of wishes and desires so it makes sense for a pisces sign person to be with a capricorn sign person because being with the person will be a fulfillment of wishes and desires and will attract gains for you however for a capricorn sign person pisces sign is the third sign of the zodiac which means the capricorn sign person will have to put in the lot that much more effort just to keep the marriage stable and to keep the house not from rocking so it doesn't make so much sense for a pisces sign person to be with somebody of capricorn sign because the pisces sign person will attract gains however the capricorn sign person may not be so very happy on the other hand for a pisces sign person the taurus sign is the third sign of the zodiac or the third house from or the third house from pisces so it doesn't make sense for the pisces person to be with a person where the pisces person has to put in so much effort to keep the person happy or to keep the marriage stable so it is better off to avoid taurus also so the most compatible sign for a pisces sign person obviously is virgo and after that when you look at the bhavat bhavam principle which you look at the 9th house and the 5th house energies which are the signs which rule the 9th house and the 5th house the house of gains the trine houses the 9th house has the scorpio energies whereas the 5th house has the cancer energies now the 9th house being the house of auspiciousness and the biggest house with the biggest house of gains so scorpio ruling the 9th house makes better sense as the most compatible sign also for a pisces sign person and similar is the cancer sign which is the 5th house sign ruler however 9th house being the biggest sign of gains scorpio definitely is the second most compatible sign for a pisces sign ascendant native after virgo and definitely to a lesser extent the cancer sign also now when you look at the kendra house principles what are the kendras which is the 4th the 7th and the 10th house rulers for the pisces sign person the 4th house ruler is gemini the 7th house ruler is of course virgo 
and the tenth house ruler is Sagittarius for a Pisces ascendant native. However, the energy Gemini has the similar energies which are the eighth house and the twelfth house, the Dusthana energies, and hence it is better to avoid a similar energies which are of the eighth and the twelfth house, and hence it is not so much a good idea for a Pisces sign person to be with a person of Gemini sign. On the other hand. After the Virgo sign energies, the 10th house sign energies for a Pisces sign person are the Sagittarius energies. And so, the Sagittarius also being the 10th house ruler of the house of Karma, the Kendra house, to keep to be within a relationship with the Sagittarius person and to keep the person happy, to keep this house stable, which means you also do a lot of good karma and you attract good karma. And the zodiac also is kind for you. And the zodiac, because you keep doing good karma, also showers its blessings on you. So, for a Pisces ascendant leader, it also makes sense to be with a Sagittarius ascendant leader. Now, when you combine all these principles, what stands out as the most compatible sign for a Pisces ascendant leader? So, obviously, the Virgo sign makes most sense for a Pisces ascendant leader, and and then Scorpio, Cancer, Sagittarius, and Capricorn in that order. So, overall, Virgo. Scorpio, Cancer, Sagittarius, and Capricorn make more sense for a Pisces ascendant native to be with. And if you cannot be with any of these, then it's better to be with somebody of your own sign rather to drown with somebody else's. So, friends, these are the signs, and this is these are the compatibilities for all the twelve signs. My suggestion to you is: these are just guidelines for you. Just go, don't go with my guidelines as being sacrosanct. It is always better to first understand what zodiac you are and what you think you are most compatible with when you are with somebody. In with, when you look at friends, when you look at family, which are the zodiac signs? However, don't be fooled by just by external appearances. Every person is not just one person, but three people, of which is the most natural signs and the other two sign energies. Similarly, are you? So first, find out who you are as the most natural zodiac which comes to the fore. Don't just depend on your sun sign or your uh, Vedic astrological sign. To first understand who you are as a person, see my video which shows the comparison between whether you are a sun sign person or the Vedic astrology ascendant person. Once you figure out what zodiac sign you are, which is the most compatible sign for you based on your zodiac basis, the guidelines that are given to you, and so. Please look into your own horoscope. Please understand yourself, and then find out the most compatible sign for you. And try and be. If you are a person who is true to the relationship, committed to the relationship, works hard to keep the relationship happy, to keep the other person happy, every zodiac sign can also be compatible for you. But according to the zodiac, the most compatible signs, you have a better chance to be happier with them, and to be to attract more prosperity also, and to attract more blessings from the zodiac also. So figure for yourself which is your most compatible sign, and then take that forward. And please share this video with your friends so that they can also know which is the most compatible sign for themselves, and then they can also make so that they can also make more educated choices and better choices for themselves. So friends, please follow me on Instagram, and if you're looking for a personal consultation for me, please reach out to me. The link is given below. Until some other time with some other video. This is your friend astrologer and guide, Irfan signing off. Ciao.